It once housed horses for Teddy Roosevelt's Rough Riders, and now this historic building in Tampa is being transformed. It will become a modern-day model of energy efficiency, and Fox 13 Cynthia Smoot tells us they're renovating it without spending a dime. It doesn't look like much now, but Ybor City's century-old Roosevelt building is getting a complete makeover. There was nothing in here but garbage. Uh, the previous tenants literally had taken everything out, including the tiles off the floor. The new floor, like everything else going in, is eco-friendly and energy efficient. From the LED lights overhead... All the lights that we have in this building that, that adequately light this building up will use less energy than one 100-watt incandescent bulb does. To the new foam roof they just installed. The foam itself provides a thermal barrier to keep the hot out and keep the cool inside the building. This is just something we know. Ryan is Roberts is the contractor about. for Project uh, 3.0, a, a collaborative well. approach yeah, to yeah, urban they, they, renewal. One of the most green things you can do is use what's here already. We're using in a structure that's been here for 104 years and we're just changing the way it functions a little bit. We're modernizing it, but we'll, we'll still keep the historic integrity of the building. And they're doing it without a budget, showcasing the innovative goods and services they use in an ongoing web-based documentary. The documentary is essentially uh, proof that this business paradigm works. Uh, we've been at this for eight months, and we literally started with three people with just an idea and no financial resources whatsoever. Now the team is over 40 people and growing. Local artists are stopping in to share their talent. And Project 3.0 is on its way to proving that sustainable building is here and affordable. We want to demonstrate to the world that it can be done. In Ybor City, I'm Cynthia Smoot, Fox 13 News. Well, Joe Redner owns that building. He's allowing them to use it in exchange for the renovations, which would have cost, by the way, up to $300,000. You can find out more and watch their progress on the web. Just go to myfoxtampabay.com. You'll find a link under the section seen on TV.